there, catch up. So what, next we're gonna have Pokemon Trainer. Oh, Bowser. are we getting the, the Pokemon Trainer match? Yeah, yeah Pokemon Trainer match is Bowser. On paper, this seems like a really bad matchup, but it's Bowser, so. I think it's kind of a matter of like, when I fight Pokemon Trainer in my mindset, I feel like I'm fighting uh, a final boss in terms of phases. The beginning phase is like Squirtle, where you take a lot of damage, and then one of the strongest phases, obviously, the Agisaur, where you're able to consistently play the mid range really, really well and space you out. And then the final phase, which is Charizard, which is mostly used for, you know, having weight if you're up in stock, dealing over damage. It all depends on how these screen wants to handle use each character to kind of take care of Charizard's strengths and weaknesses, right? When it comes down to the speed and the damage and the percents, the combos that Squirtle gets is really, really powerful. But when it comes out to your edge guarding and spacing, I have a sort of accelerate. And then obviously you already know with, with Charizard. So. I just feel like all three Pokemon are better than Bowser. Really? Yeah, yeah I, I kind of agree. I kind of agree. Like but the uh, one thing that Bowser has is, you know, being the heaviest character in the game, having tough guy. Not only that, though, like, when you think about the, the game as a whole, having a friend for jump spot is already enough with every character, but putting that on Bowser, that starts to make them scary. And then also, Flamethrower has absolutely no business being a really hard move to escape if you get caught <laughs> and doing so much percent. Like I said, one thing that C-Stream might want to try to utilize, like I said, is Charizard. Easy to respond. Pretty self-explanatory. You just become Bowser. Maybe it's a little less Oh, oh, nice. See, that's the thing you have to do about it. It's like, you're gonna take a lot of damage, be in disadvantage a lot. Terrible recovery, though. But, uh, you have to, like, rely on those, like, hard beats to get those really stops a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, the benefit of playing the character. Like, you just kill really early. Yeah. And you and you punish people for overextending a lot. Like season. that. Yeah, I think that's the one thing that we're going to have to see from Blocious. Because I'm trying to pronounce the act properly from Blocious. Just because, like you say, if you overextend against Charizard. Belucious? Belucious. Like the color. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the axe is the one thing I'm trying to make sure I pronounce it right. Uh, really good pair in that situation. Usually common move we'll see from Ivasaur, especially with Pledge. Oh, that was a very risky jump, but uh, CG didn't punish it appropriately, and instead he needs to stock. I would never want to play Squirtle with um, Yeah, uh, like, when we were talking about this matchup and these characters, I don't. I think I'm uh, opposite spectrum of what you guys think. Like, this matchup does not look fun for PT. You got one character who's super light, small, fast, but gets hit, probably dies at 40. And you have Ivasaur, who, yeah, has big hitboxes, but at the same time, is also a bigger hitbox for Bowser. And that, that forward air is stupid for Bowser. Uh, I think he's. Wow. He's dead. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Could yeah. Be. It's that was just, silly. Bowser's weight's really hard to get out of that situation. Like, um, it, going back to the metaphor of being like a final boss that has phases, Bowser's the final boss that just don't want to get hit by. Like, if I get hit, I lose half my life. Yeah, I, I think that's what Strides was alluding to in this matchup entirely as a whole, right? You think about Bowser, one thing he's really good in where he can accelerate and definitely have players on the back foot is... He can snowball you, so if he's getting your overextensions against Bowser, if he's reading your over recoveries like you saw with Squirtle, you're going to take a long damage. And Bowser. I'm not even talking just over extensions though. I don't want to trade with this guy. Oh, no one does because he has tough guy, and that's what I'm saying. Like that's the one thing that if you're Ivysaur, you don't really have to worry too much because yes, he's gonna tough guy, tough guy to raise you, but then that gives you enough time to have. Face to move around to control the but if he grab, but there. if he tough guys through razor leaf then you're already getting grabbed the use you, that's what i'm saying you use razor leaf to space you have that's why you use your vines that's one you have to use ivasaur in a situation where you're more advantageous over bowser in which well, that's where ivasaur accelerates right being in the mid-range having your opponent on the back end because you have the ability to space on your opponent 
Uh, and then I you have think... to go to Charizard. And... Yeah. I think all three Pokemon have a way to not interact with this character if they want to. Yeah. I will agree with ZFly. Squirtle a little bit less, just because, <laughs> like, if you do happen to mess up and over extend, yeah, you're gonna eat possibly a most spot. I mean, if this is I think that's just the thing I Squirtle in general, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, more in this matchup, but like, anytime you're playing, like, that's real, you have to know that you get reward from getting your combos, but the trade off is if you mess up, you can die early. Yeah. So I think good Squirtle players, like, they just deal with that. Yeah, I agree. And this this matchup too, like I just said, that was a, that was a very bad back here. Yeah, that like landed right on top of Bowser. But like, yeah, once you get Bowser off stage, it's pretty terrible. Yeah, I think I just Edge Guard's character really easily. This is like this might be the most even of the matchups of the Pokemon. But yeah, still, like Charizard has to wow, wow. Yeah, that 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 get up. The thing about the flamethrower is that it conditions you to do certain things at the ledge anyway. So yeah. it's not even like surprising that he did a neutral get up there. I was gonna okay. say he double jumped and he his landing option was like pretty poor. He just he was trying to overcome it to either being on the platform or possibly trying to go towards the stage right. But like he should have just waited to see how bad they were gonna go for and carried on. Moments have changed here, really good on this bullet seat. Yeah, bullet seat's pretty bad, but you get to work, it does decent percent. Oh man. Speed of the level, right? <laughs> yeah, but then he fell out of the last hit because he was terrible. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's good. Yeah, he's just trying to stage shark um, with Divine Whip as most Pokemon trainers do. Uh, hey, he's fine. He's got, oh, he's got to watch his recovery. Oh, nice timing. Nice. Caught the neutral get up. Ah, so both neutral get up, really. Neutral get ups from both players getting called out at this point. Yeah, but it's just both characters are so strong at the ledge that uh, it's hard to guess which one's the right option to do. Oh, he pulled oh. up the spot dodge. He's gonna make him go low. Down air? Yeah. 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 But once he got hit by that raise, he does pretty much. And that's what I kind of want to talk about, too. Well, he like... still had his jump. He could have recovered. He could have committed to jumping after or over the Razor Leaf and then going a little bit high. He would have gotten punished, but I don't think he would have died. I think the team might even try to avoid I think when you look at Ivysaur, when it comes to you know, trying to have a game, you being edge guarded by him, it's really scary. You go too low, you face down air, you go too high, you face Razor Leaf. You go to the mid, you have to worry about getting hit by Razor Leaf possibly. So it's kind of like a pick your own poison if you pick right and you might have a chance. I don't know, one of those oh, options sounds tree. way better than the Bowser. other. But that trade going in Bowser's favor, the final Always. boss! Always. Always. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Bowser has the better trades in favor. Uh, really quick, Z-Fly, sorry. That's the one thing, is like if you choose to go towards mid, you could get called out for going towards a middle landing option, especially the way they both have been calling each other like neutral get-ups. But if you're choosing to go high, you have to be careful because if Ivysaur does tipper the Vine Whip, you're dead. <laughs> That's the scary I would, I would roll the dice that about the Ivysaur player tippering Vine Whip mm. over down air. Because down yeah. air is way bigger of a hitbox. Yeah, I think that becomes a matchup of, of skill afterwards. Like, oh yeah, how, how skilled is my opponent in which, oh yeah, he hasn't gotten a tipper Ivy yet. So that will be fun. But if it's like, oh, he's, 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 he's quote unquote X top PT, then yeah, I wouldn't definitely. Yeah, we're well, well, coming up to game game three game here. Three C streams counter pick. Another game three. Let's go. You can do three, two, one, okay, Smash Bros. Question. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't very, know how to feel about this. Yeah, I like this you... stage for Bowser more for sure. But, uh, That's where we're trying to play the the Charizard Bowser matchup. I can see it happening. I think about going back to game one, how you talk about the where like Pokemon Trainer. Oh, that's a bad. Pokemon Trainer, right? When you look at Squirtle, what, 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 in what way can Squirtle stop Bowser from being what he wants to? And that's Juggles. Uh, but just S-Match him. Just yeah. S-Match him next time. <laughs> yeah, that Bullet Seed was very punishable. He could have died. Easily. Yeah. yeah, just a little charge on that drop kick. Easy oh, stock. Oh, oh, back, back air! 
Oh, he did the spoiler too early. Yeah, he did. Oh my god. He should have died for that. Oh. I think that was a little bit too early on the flamethrower there. <laughs> Had he just waited like maybe a second or two. And Bowser's heavy. Every other character would be dead from that port, so. Yeah, oh, but yeah, it's dude. great spacing from Sea Streams. Continuing to maintain his center stage control. He's doing really bad runoff there. Yeah. Not an at all. And it's costing him a lot. Alright, he needs to get oh, the no. knock with Squirtle, or yeah, just switch. Like, yeah, just switch off. If you don't, uh, major punish, you don't want to just take a necessary percent possibly die as Squirtle. But right now, uh, yeah, Luxius, I don't know how to say your name. He's <laughs> using all the, all the extra credits. I think 49 for Bowser is huge, especially now that he's using Squirtle right now. That's like, two hit good hits. If you can effectively juggle him like so, each time, then yeah, Bowser is just gonna have to take him, and that'll give Z Stream enough time to wow. probably. Oh god. With the draw, there's absolutely nothing then. Okay. Just push that, back that with all good. the That's good with Spurtle to switch to Ibisaur. Yeah, yeah I, I can kind of see why why uh, Blucius was going for the stage, because he was able to get the platform resets and convert harder on the Squirtle combos. But it's it's in these like mid and hyper sense that the stage pick really is going towards both players. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want to call the new Japan up? Oh my God! What is that? Sorry. Oh, uh, the early man! Yeah, that was a really good recovery. That was like the one time. Oh. That his timing on Floyd is good. Wow. Nice. I was making wow. it. Just because of this opportunity. Of yeah. The F2. Yeah, I was going to say, either way, that Blue just had already become accustomed to just going for forage off the ledge, catching his neutral get-ups. So it really didn't call it either way. Oh, nice. Does it connect with the ground, actually? Yeah. Oh, it goes for it. We punish. That's oh, the easy punish, yeah. yeah. Uh, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't play this with Squirtle at all, but he's confident, so... Yeah, remember, this is this is kind of why I mean, whenever it comes to the conversions and combos, it's really Squirtle where we see him abusing the stage to his advantage. But these bullet seeds, okay, gets him on the last one. Like the bullet seed oh. master, even when they don't he work. He's so work. lucky with it. Yeah. It's a, I feel like it's a super. Oh, that was close. That was his fault. Just that was his F fault. smash him. That was his fault. Oh, he actually could have just done um down air to up air. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he could have. I think that was a little bit more of his fault. Like, he could have gone down or down, right? And then I think at that opportunity, Belushius knew that. Oh, oh, he didn't get the combo. That's a really big drop. Uh, he's Rage Bowser, so he's actually in a good spot. Yeah, six, Watch six out for that tail, seconds. though. Yeah, really good up you had a shield. You usually see that from Bowser. Uh, for C stream, he has to definitely start a combo for that. Oh, close. Spot, even though yeah, he caught he off the roll. Can okay, I get another it's anyone's game? Oh, yeah, no. that was, that was good. Because if he rolled, if he jumped, if he had uh, those situations, he would have gone to come out because of where, where the hitbox works. So really good stuff to see stream. Knowing that, you know, being Charizard, you may not be Bowser's way.